Hi, I'm Chris Rowan. I'm the CTO of the IP business of Cadence, and I'm going to talk today about using neural networks as part of vision systems. Of course, neural networks have become very popular recently because they offer such a powerful way to extract meaning, to recognize objects and actions within a visual stream. But how do you put the pieces together? Let's start with a basic system. In some sense, we start always with a camera. And from that camera, we're going to be streaming data in any real-time system, typically through some sort of an image signal processing pipeline, an ISP, which cleans up the data, filters it, gets the color balance right. And then we come into a vision system. And in fact, we can split the vision system into two parts. There's kind of a pre-processing stage in which we get the data in the scale, in the format, and extract out the regions of interest. Where do we want to be looking in order to start identifying objects and actions that we can use? And then finally, we'll go into the neural network. That's the part of the system which actively recognizes primitive objects and builds up patterns of primitive objects with layers of recognition until we get to the final object recognition. We find the most likely label or name for the target objects within that. And that ultimately then goes to some decision making, some higher level process that reacts to the identification of a particular object in a particular location within that display. And as the data flows, typically the camera flows data directly into the image signal processing pipeline, but the data often will go from there into memory. And building a vision system involves lots of key decisions about the memory. The complex algorithms used in vision pre-processing to extract out regions of interest often operate on the memory and put results back into memory. And the neural network will typically take data from the memory and actually make multiple passes where it reads and writes and reads and writes that memory for every pass. So that we have potentially quite a bit of memory traffic associated with it. But that's the key to its intelligence to be able to do layer after layer of processing, extracting exactly the right uh, objects, the right patterns that describe those objects, so that we can make high quality decisions. Some of the key decisions that we make as designers within this are going to be the question of what kind of algorithms are used for this pre-processing. It may be a classical algorithm, which uses uh, the kinds of uh, techniques that have been around for 20 or 30 years to find uh, regions of interest, or they could in fact be another neural network which has been trained to recognize regions that may have something of interest, where those regions are then passed to the neural network to do the detailed analysis, the detailed identification. And as you may know, the neural network itself has many design options in terms of the number of layers, the size of the layers, the connectivity between the layers. And these two stages, the vision processing and the neural network itself, often involve both a high degree of software sophistication and a lot of computation. And that's why the design of these networks, the choice of the hardware engine, the choice of the software development environment is critically important and where Cadence is putting a great deal of focus in order to deliver effective platforms and effective solutions and effective software to make this design of visual systems using neural networks easy, effective, and uh, efficient. Thanks very much. I look forward to seeing you again on another Whiteboard Wednesday.